Greetings and welcome back to Factory Town. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, um, I did want to talk about this conveyor belt. I did have a comment that saying mixed belts is never a good uh, way to do things because the destination can fill up. Now, I kind of agree with that in general. It's always a good idea never to mix belts like in Factorio, but in this case, we have the town center which doesn't fill up. I don't think it does, or it has a very, very high limit. Um, so at the moment, this is going to be okay for us and we may have to change it later if that becomes a problem in any case we can always put the uh, conveyors on a conveyor just straight over there if we find the need to now I have been thinking about how we want to organize these houses and such I think what I want to do eventually is put this stonemason further back and have these houses uh, on a road here so that we have two kind of enclosed roads worth of houses and that's how I want to do that now there is one thing this person is carrying wheels and I want them to stop doing that and instead we're gonna put a conveyor belt here to save on labor that makes it a lot easier now let's see this thing makes planks for this thing as well so that person also gets to be out of a job sorry about that welcome to your life of leisure it will be fine now I do want to do some research here and we want to go into uh, forestry I think first Let's do that. We have a forester and a tree planter, which is really nice. So that is going to save us a heck of a lot of labor on all of these people's gathering wood. So let's take those folks over there and we're going to build a forester over here. So let's go ahead and get rid of uh, this belt here for now. And I want to build a forester. So let's go to buildings where uh, B. Yeah, there we go. And forester, 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 forester. There we go. Okay, and this one, so you can see how many trees it has in range and uh, also where the entrance is. Now the entrance is mostly for workers to get in if they need to get stuff and we don't really need to use it. So what's going to happen is we're just going to connect this, uh, this chute here and it should output the, uh, the wood out onto the, the thingy, maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe we need a grabber like that. Yeah, there we go. That works. Okay. And what we want to do is put in multiple workers here so that they produce the wood faster. Okay. So that's a good thing. Now, forestry. Now, this should not destroy the trees at all. So this saves us a lot on tree destruction and uh, labor as well. So here we want to get these workers off of here and put them in there and build another forester over here. Actually, we can use our Q key to copy that. So we'll add this here. Hey, hey, don't do that. Oh, and cotton person. Hey, go, go and pick cotton here and put it there instead. I don't want them walking that far. I didn't notice it was a second person, so go and do that. They should also have a chute, but maybe we can solve this in a different way as well. So let's get this one, get the forester going. And we're going to get a, a shoot there as well. Okay, so let's take this shoot from there to there and a grabber. The grabber grabs from the building and inserts into the other building. So we're going to add maybe two workers here. Now, if we run out of workers in the village that are not output here, we can actually delete these people and they'll go back to the village. Uh, we might actually want to do that. So let's delete. Can I delete? Hello? Hello? Let's see, remove resource. Does that work? Or can I just delete you? Oh, yeah, there we go. Just press delete. And then go back to their happy homes and do their happy things. Um, we can also align them. Oh, they are very cute. Look at them all in lines, ready to do stuff. Hooray. Okay, so let's get them hopping along. And instead of having them deliver the cotton here, I kind of want to have them instead... Uh, do some farming. Let's get some farming unlocked. We have the farm unlocked and we have animal pastures unlocked. Okay, so the farms will automatically regrow, uh, harvest nearby resources and replant them when depleted. Farm ties, water, and fertilizer will speed crop regrowth processes. All right, so we want to put a farms here. So let's move our little tiny army over there instead. In fact, I, I kind of want to move these people. Let's just have them also give up their jobs and we can do something a little bit different here. Let's get to our buildings again and build a farm. 
So this farm is going to kind of uh, use up this area with cotton. And we're going to get this going. And I think what I really would like to do is make some other things with this. Uh, let's see. I'd really like to make, let's see, R. Can we get the tailor? Yes, we maybe, maybe someday uh, we can possibly. So what we'll do is we'll take this cotton and remember because it is a, uh, because it's a raw material, even though it looks flat, it can still go out on these shoots. So hello, hello, why? Hello, oh, that's why, okay. Okay, let's X on that, X and rotate. That's weird that it only wants to go curved wise. That's very, very strange to me. All right, let's rotate this and they can do that, yay. Okay, so stuff can now go into the general store and people are gonna pay mountains for all of this, which is great for us, really great for us. Let's see, they are buying, what are they buying here for gold? Kind of wondering, let's see, food mill buying we should actually get some water to them as well i feel like we might need to get the well uh water to them let's have maybe another person go to the well pick up water water and drop off water over there do they sell water uh maybe probably not nope i guess not maybe they get it from somewhere else Maybe they get it from the tavern. There is a tavern building. I'm not familiar exactly with what everything sells nowadays because the tavern is a brand new building since I played last time. And I'm really kind of eager to see what is there. Uh, we can also build a kitchen, which gives us kind of upgraded food. So that's going to be a great thing. Now we can also build fluid pipes and those are required for steam power. Uh, boat building coin boosters are a fun thing uh, where you can make buildings work faster by putting coins into it. So if you have way too many coins, that's the way to go. Uh, I think we'll go, geez, what should we go? Let's go with the kitchen. Let's do kitchen for now. We get a kitchen and a tavern. So if we build a tavern, let's see what we get with this. Let's see what we can sell with this. That's even more important. Okay, so with a tavern, we can sell cake. Sandwiches, apple pie, fish stew, veggie stew, all kinds of things. Let's see, these people, they want water. I'm not really sure how to get it to them other than just delivery. Maybe the pipes work. I don't know if they do or not. I'm not quite sure about that. I know that's a strange thing to say, but I am actually not quite sure. Let's see, uh, water people. Now, where is the person that's doing the water? Waiting for item pickup, space to drop off. Uh, hello? What are you doing? You're doing there to there. You're doing what? Waiting for item to pick up. Okay. Are you doing the water? No. No, you're not doing in the water. Let's tell you to go here. Hold on. Get, get over here. Hello. Pick up water. Maybe we'll just deliver it manually for now. Drop it off here. Because before it had a drop off that was like, the all items drop off, but it didn't seem to want water. Okay, so they are paying one coin for water, which is not a lot, but it's something. It's something good. Right now, we actually might not be delivering the best items because uh, we might just be getting yellow coins. Like hardware, we're getting red coins. Uh, food, we are getting yellow coins, but if we move up to bread, okay, that's also yellow coins, so that would be okay. Uh, clothing, we're delivering cotton now, which is red, and we want to deliver something like either fabric, which is red, and uh, or clothing, which is also red, so that would be fine. But I guess we need to deliver some bread, which is where our farms come in. So let's see, I want to build a farm to get this, uh, this grain going on instead, because what we can do here is we have a food mill, and that's making our... Uh, flour and the flour is being delivered into the food market. Wait, what are you doing? Hello? Hello? What do you have? Oh, you're the one with the water. Okay, we 
All right, let's put you over there. <laughs> we'll put, put, put your stuff over there. Let me gather our two food collectors, and we're going to take you over there. Because soon enough, you shall be deprecated. And, you, well, we'll just say you will be returned to your life of idleness. Hooray! Um, all right, let's go to our buildings and go to the farm. Okay, let's pause the game first. Now, the farm is a building that is going to produce uh, grain and sends it to the food mill. And the food mill can send the stuff to a bakery. Now, do we have the bakery or the kitchen? Yay, we do have a kitchen. Great. So the kitchen is nice. Okay, so let's see. We want to put our food mill. Let's move stuff around a tiny bit. Let's go to F1 menu and move. I think I need to make my own custom menu here, uh, which will make things a tiny bit easier for stuff. So this needs to output to here. And this outputs to a food mill. Now the food, um, no, the kitchen, sorry. The kitchen needs stuff. And I'm not quite sure. I think they need fuel. That's an important item. So let's select our recipe here, bread. So they need two flour and one fire to make one bread. So fire is going to be fuel, which is fertilizer, wood, coal, and magma. Those are the things that can be used for fuel. Uh, we can also make some jam and other kinds of stuff. Uh, but that is going to be in later land because I think we need just bread for now. That gives us a lot more coins and a lot more experience points for a house. Okay, so fuel, let's see, cooked beef. We can do that, cooked chicken. So for now, what I want to do is we want to put an output block here. We'll send this food into their land. Now, keep in mind, you can actually put in multiple items here of food and they will sell any or all of them depending on what they need. So like a house, uh, if we look at the food, they need four basic foods here, four of these, and they're quite happy to eat all four of them. So it's kind of up to you what you want to supply them with, but obviously more complicated ones yield more points and more coins for you. So let's take this one and we're gonna just move this ahead here. This is going to be fine there. Let's put a chute here, there, and we're going to put a conveyor belt here. We'll put that right this way and we'll have the entrances be a little bit better. Okay, so flour goes here and of course our um, farming goes over there. So we're going to do grain. So right now we're not supplying any water here. Uh, this worker is waiting on the grain to be output, which we do need to put an output thing. I'm not sure why it's only putting grabbers on curved belts. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, let's wait for this to kind of settle down a tiny bit. We are, let's put in a couple more workers. Okay, this is going to settle down a bit. Uh, we might want to get water here. So what I could do is have a worker. Let's build another well. There really isn't any benefit to, or there's no detriment to having multiple wells. Let's see, let's get that going and, ah, you're a water carrier, hey. Let's do the drop off there and pick up, ooh, ooh. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, just a second, pick up here and drop off there, okay, good. Okay, that should work and that, that way we'll get a little bit of water going on. Now then this needs to have some logs. And I'm thinking that maybe we either need more people working here or we need a second lumber mill. So I'm thinking second lumber mill might be the solution. So we're gonna get another lumber mill placed here. Uh, now, a lot of this series is gonna be quite experimental or actually a forest or not a lumber mill, goodness me, um, where we're going to test out like how many trees do you need, how many lumber mills per area, how many workers, that kind of thing. Um, because I want to find out how those uh, numbers function. I find that really interesting. Let's put the, let's put the thingy there. Good. And then we'll have a chute going here and connecting. And we'll get the grabber there. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna have another four foresters here. And obviously you can overlap trees and stuff. So that's a possibility. So let's see, we have water. We have supplied water. Grain is our recipe. So they should grow plenty fast for us to supply a heck of a lot of stuff here. So what's going on here? Oh yeah, we need the fuel. That is what we were looking at. 
And this might be too many things relying on a couple of foresters right now. So maybe we need a forester just for this area. So let's do that. Let's build a forester just for this area. I'm gonna go ahead and sneak it in here. Can't afford, okay, we need actual wood taken to our actual town. All right, that's a good idea. Let me, ooh, what do we do about that? I think what we need to do here, do we have, we don't have anything to take any wood to the town center. So that's something that I would like to put on a conveyor belt where maybe some of this goes to the town center. Hmm. Let's see, how do we want to do this? I'm not actually sure. Let's see, we have 114 conveyor belts. We have a few people working here, four per second, and this is also four per second. Doesn't look like they're actually doing four per second though, It does it? Really doesn't, okay. So also the foresters can make other trees uh, or they can harvest trees. They can't harvest these trees because obviously you can't turn an evergreen into an apple tree. That would be most interesting. Um, okay, so we do have an issue here. We need to get some, some of this wood production into, okay, and this is, is that a, Shoot, it is. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm going to do something really sneaky here. I'm going to put in a thingy. Oh, I can't. Ugh, no. Okay, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's do a move command here. Let's see, fuel loader, rail unloader. Let's see. I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to not use two toolbars. I'd rather have two double toolbars side by side or four rows or something instead of having to flip between them. Uh, I would love to have that instead. It would be so nice, so nice. All right, let's get rid of this. Um, and we're gonna do a grabber out this way. Uh, or maybe, okay, we're gonna do a grabber. We're gonna do this, this. And then straight this way, this way, and there. Okay, and then we're also going to do a there. But we can't do there, can we? We can, we can. Okay, so this is going to be a splitter right there. Okay, and we're going to move this one. We are gonna, let's see, if we go F1, move this one to there, say. Okay, and then we can take our, what we wanna do is have two things here. We wanna have a ramp up and we'll have our chute. Actually, I think we need to do a conveyor belt at the end of the chute. Not quite sure, but maybe. Okay, so this one can be a height thing like this and a bridge over the top. It does need to be that, that second height, I think. That is the minimum. I've kind of tested this just to make sure. And do the same thing on the other side to put that there. And then we can kind of put points of changing of direction. That's the main thing we want to do with this. Because otherwise we can actually take our conveyor belt I just point it in the right direction and tell it where we need to go. So we can go here and then point it there and then take it that way. Okay. And actually, I think at this point, though I guess it doesn't matter. We could have put a chute along the rest of this so the roll the logs can roll along. But because the conveyor belt is, belt is a specific speed, the going up part is going to limit the speed it goes anyway. So anyway, that will get us some logs into our city center, which is going to help us immensely, I feel. Let's go ahead and put some more workers in here and get things going a little bit faster there. All right, we are at 12 houses and that's the max that we have right now. Let's see, if we click on this, what do we need here? We need to have 36 of 48, uh, I guess upgraded houses. So that means we need to upgrade them in some way. I think we probably need to give them more stuff. 
Um, looks like basic medicine is probably on the next of our agenda here. Or maybe we can try to fur uh, furnish them with some clothing. Let's see. Do we have the tailor? Did I unlock that yet? No, not yet. Okay. So at the moment we were working on getting... Ah, yes, we were going to build another forester. All right, so let's go with that for now. Let's pick this and place one. Building is blocked. Yeah, I figured that. Can I move a tree? No, probably not. No, I cannot. Okay, so let's try this again. Or alternatively, we can uh, put a shoot here. I think this is kind of what would be fine. Let's just do this. Let's do that. And we'll have this thing going that way. We do need to make a path. So this is a three-way splitter now. All right, so now this is gonna bake us the bread. Okay, great. We need more workers here though, because we are not going fast enough. Soon enough, we're gonna need some faster conveyor belts, I feel. Put four workers in there. 3.3 .3 per second. Now this needs two per build zone. All right, this is giving us three per second. And for flour, we need three per second, right? So we actually, wait, is that correct? Hold on. Grain is giving us three per second, right? So that makes one flour per second, right? That can't be right. Because the grain is stacking up. It's at maximum all the time. Okay, so this just needs to be one per second or even less. Let's just do 1.2 second. Sure, that's fine. Uh, because we are waiting on this flower. I want to do two flower per second. Is that possible? So that this can do one per second. I'm not sure if I'm reading this correctly, to be perfectly honest. I don't know if that's... Correct. I think it should be correct, right? Three per second. But yet it's constantly like, what if I do only one per second? Do we have a loss on the input here? No, <laughs> the input still. Oh, here it is. Oh, geez. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Sorry. I was like, why isn't this, why is this making no sense? I was looking at the water, silly me. Okay. So that's what we need here. So we have three per second there. Here we're going to make, we want to make two flower per second. So we're going to, we want to make actually six per second if possible. Yeah, let's do that. So six per second, that's going to give us an even output, a flower of two per second, right? So the input should stay at max. All right, and then the kitchen should get us one per second of bread. Okay, that's good. Now then, let's look at another item. Let's go ahead and get our research here. Uh, I want to build a tailor, so let's do that. Let's look at our buildings again and build a tailor. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, so here... We're going to build the tailor right there. And then we're going to change the direction of this uh, conveyor belt here. And I'm just going to delete all of that and just do a straight belt this way. So cotton can flow there. And then we'll have the grabber grab some clothing. So we're going to make a... Oh, what are we going to make? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We may... Oh, we have problems. No, we messed up. However, the messing up is not permanent. We actually need a workshop. I completely forgot about this stage. The workshop will give us cloth. We need the cloth first, of course. I didn't even think about that. We can use either cotton or wool. We happen to have tons of cotton. So that's what we definitely want to do. We're going to look for getting cloth conveyor belts soon but not right now. So we're gonna change this. Okay, let's get that off. We want to, I guess we're gonna leave this here because that's the distance from the cotton that we want. Meanwhile, we're gonna get a workshop. So let's cue on that and then we'll put this here. So we're gonna be making just cloth and make sure you choose the cloth with the correct inputs, not wool, but cotton. So we'll use this and then we're going to get our chute to be uh, there. 
and then we take cl uh, uh, cloth, cl oh, words, hello words, how are you doing? <laughs> it's good stuff. Okay, so F3 to get our grabber, change that there, and then have, yeah, let's see what our, our things are doing here. Okay, select a recipe, we're going to do shirts. We don't have the other ingredients yet, but later we can get these other items because they give us a lot more red coins here. Uh, like the warm coat would be great because we have a cotton right here. Um, we can also use the shirt. All we need for that is leather. So we need a pasture and that needs probably animal feed and some water. So that's a possibility. So let's look at our ratios here. These are requiring two say two per second. So let's build this up to two per second. Okay, that's more than two per second. Um, but this needs how many? Wait a second, hold on. You need two of these. Okay, so yeah, two of these per second. So we need four per second on the cotton. So let's make that up to four and we're good. Okay. So I don't know, I think this the water it said made it grow faster. So what we can do here is build a water hut, otherwise known as a well. Uh, build that here and get a human to help us. So with wells and things, I don't think there's a way that you can, I'm, you might be able to use pipes. I have never experimented with pipes ever before. So that's going to be an interesting experiment. Let's go ahead and upgrade the town center. Uh, and we've gotten an upgrade. Hooray. So we need to get this up to 80 points. And then we're going to be, we're going to have multiple happiness happening on, happening here. Yay. So that's good. Oh, we're good. We're good. So how is research going? Are we happy with our research currently? Let's check. Are we, how is this going? This lumber mill is making paper. Let's go ahead and speed that up a tiny bit. Let's make two per second. That is, wow, our woodworkers are very much keeping up with this. Uh, so all we need to think about is the water. So far, the water person is also keeping up. So that's not an issue at all. So yay. Okay. Um, now then, kind of looking at all the things. We probably should build more houses. Can't We can't actually build anymore though right now. Kind of locked with that. So we need to figure out what we want to do that. Number of linked houses plus house upgrades. Alrighty. So let us, so we get more population if we get the happiness up. So what's going on here? Do we have everything that we need to have? Are people happy? Generally, we have, let's see, five, four. You guys don't have enough happiness. This is sad. This is very sad. All right. So we're looking, we're getting some shirts here, which is great. It does look like we need water. So I want to try and get this pipe technology and see if that's going to solve our water issues. Uh, let's get some... Actually, you know what? While we're working on the pipes, let's look at the wooden railways because we need those and we need the cloth conveyor belts. Oh, wine, mine carts. Hooray. Okay, so these are great. Um, we're... Rails and minecarts can be used to quickly transport lots of goods. Place rails and rail stops next to buildings to automatically deposit or withdraw goods from a building. Set the item filter on the minecart to restrict type of goods to be picked up. So you can have like a ring of things and get stuff from really far away if you want to be able to de deliver things. So what do we have here? We have pear trees. So if we make something like pear jelly and then have a minecart delivering it to where the tavern, I think they have like pear jam, pear jam. Yeah. You want to pay, make pear jam? Let's make pear jam. Do we have the ability to make sugar? Let's see. Let's look at our recipe for pear jam. So pear jam needs pears, sugar, and fire. Okay. We can make that over here. Let's, in fact, let's make this over here. I want to grab, let's get a forester. First of all, Oh, we're on a hill. We're on a hill. Uh, I'm going to put this forester right kind of in the middle here. Uh, so we can build more pear trees if we need to. And then we also need a farm for building uh, some sugar cane. So let's see if we can actually build the sugar cane. So that's in the farming menu where you can plant sugar. So if we plant the sugar like here, we will be able to harvest the sugar. 
I think we can do like three thingies or four. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's expensive. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. So let's do buildings. Um, we also don't have farm tiles. Those may come later as we get like uh, fertilizer and manure and stuff. So let's do our farm here. Oh, we need rocks. Hello. We don't have rocks. Wait, do we not have any going to our... Oh, we don't. We only have one person delivering rocks. Wow. I think it's time to... Oh, okay. I think what I want to do is a couple of things. Um, I want to move this stone place elsewhere. I want to have houses on this side here. So what we can do... I'm thinking what we can do... Er... I think we make a conveyor belt, is what we do. I think we make a conveyor belt. Okay, let's 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 construct this conveyor belt. This conveyor belt is going to go into our city center. Uh, probably here. Uh, yeah, right there. And then kind of be going along this route here. Um, going to want to move this guy elsewhere. Uh, people move move people okay I kind of want to move it one up yeah we can move it one up good 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 all right uh but oh we need to move it one back as well because we want it to be we want to have this stuff we want to be able to go here and back here yes yes okay uh, all right, so let's just do that for now. Let's put my X. We, we can X that. And then build. Let's start building this conveyor belt. Uh, no, not there. Not there. Hold on. We need the scaffold arch. Those things here. Okay. And then we can build the conveyor belt on top of that. There we go. So let's just do this and then we can build this way. Oh, we still have to fix the end ones anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I do not. I did not tell you to do that. Bad. Bad. Uh, all right, so let's do a conveyor belt there. Okay. Very good. So that can actually withdraw from there, which is perfect. And what I want to do is a couple of things. So. These guys, let's just have them all gather over there for a minute. You are needing to gather over there. That's fine. So there's going to be a chute. And that chute is going to have to go upward somewhat. Uh, let's do this. And we do a couple of thingy thingies. There we go. So our conveyor belt is going to go like this. So the chute is going to divide between this and that. So let's see. Let's put it this way. There we go. Go, girly, move out of the way, please. Yo. Yo. Go, go, go. Thank you. You can get out of there. Thank you. Good girly. Okay, so it doesn't matter how far they are from the building. Uh, that is not relevant. What is relevant is how far they are from the end of the conveyor belt or the end of the chute. So what we need to do here is then we can collect these guys and have them use the chutes. And it's going to be great. There we go. They're going to be chopping the rocks. And we, uh, we did forget one thing, which is our splitter. So let's do that. Always put the outside here for the input, the square or the straight line. Uh, not the arrowy lines toward the input of where you're going and that has enabled us to free from manual labor to more people now this is kind of great now the reason i used a conveyor belt obviously is because i have um non uh or, or intermediate products also going on this line so that's that's the reason for that but we're going to get a ton more of materials into our place and hopefully not run out next time all right, so what's going on here? Are you happy? You have water. You have cotton. Yay, all the things are happening. Yay. Okay, so these are happening. We are getting cloth. Are we getting cloth? Yes, we're getting shirts. We're getting shirts, so people should be happier. 
Now then, we were working on this section and we were waiting for the ability to make a farm. So let's do that. Let's make a farm. Yeah, we ran out of uh, stuff there. So let's put this farm kind of over here. I kind of want to stay out of the range of the forester if possible. And all of these sugarcane things are still in the range of the farm. Now, if they're on a tile that is water, oh, uh, how can we see this? I guess the easiest is to look at the farming thing. So if we do tomatoes, you can see that some of the tiles are blue. Those tiles are automatically watered because they're by the water. Um, what you can do is you can dig little canals and you can get them automatically watered. However, I I can't, I, I think that they this must have been changed where it used to water up to like two away. I don't know if that's correct or if my memory's wrong, but I feel like it used to be longer, but now it's like you'd have to do a, a canal every two rows, something like that. Now, do we have abilities to, uh, terraform remove block layer hello no i don't know i don't know no i don't think so let me let me just check we might we might have the abilities to do structural paths town buildings basic production storage farming logistics pipes production tools let's do that oh terrain block down Okay, let's see if we can do this. What we would want to do is probably here. Oh, we can. Wow, fun. But it does look like it's on a slope. So let's see if we do this. Hey, you can do them underwater apparently too. Nice. I don't know if they stay underwater, but let's see. So is this watered? Then does it say if it's watered? Yield 24. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on. Anyway, okay, so that's, that's that. Uh, we are also going to need a forester here to provide fuel for this uh, cook. Uh, also, while we're doing this, and I forgot to do this completely, oh my god. Let's find out how we build the rails. I'm pretty sure it's in a workshop, so let's just check. Okay, so wooden rails require two things that are dissimilar. We need stone and we need planks. Oh my goodness. So that's a thing. That's definitely a thing, which I think we're going to make over here. I want to make these right now uh, so that we have access to them. So let's build a, a plank maker. So I want to build a forestry area thingy. Forester. I'm a bit concerned that we're going to run out of stone. I don't know if there's a mining place. There probably is. Yeah, there's a mine right here. Okay, so this might be something we go for so we don't run out of stone and have to move our production elsewhere. Um, so, all right, so we need a forester. We need a plank maker, which is going to be a lumber mill. So let's get that here and we'll put a chute between them. Okay, let's go. And F3 for the grabber. Clonk. All right, and this we're gonna make planks. All right, and then this is gonna be making, we're gonna get a workshop. Clonk that right here. Actually, we can clonk it to the side, that's just fine. And then have people just deliver to this place. Uh, do I wanna have it at that height? I don't know. I guess I just have people delivering stone. Let's have two people delivering stone. We'll have them deliver there to there and they're gonna make let's have them make these wooden rails okay good good and then we get our conveyor belts going on there Hooray. okay so these three buildings are doing their thing how much to deliver okay two stone uh, and two planks one per second that's fine let's make try to make two planks per second actually you know what one per second is plenty. I don't think we're going to need that many rails. So I think we just leave it at one worker per each building. Now then, what we can do here though, is I don't really want to make a very long conveyor belt all the way to deliver those things. So what I'm going to do is something different. And I want to just show you this as a thing you can do. I'm going to go ahead and make um, a road that is made out of roadie materials. Oh God, really? That doesn't work. Okay. We need to, oh, it does work. Yay. It fixes things. All right. I'm going to make it out of stone. And instead of having a regular worker, we're going to use a, 
Um, we're gonna use a wagon. Oh, geez, we have, we don't have enough wagon wheels. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> whoops. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna delete this grabber for a minute uh, because I need to actually put the wheels from here. Yes, into there. We don't actually have any wheels stored. This is very sad. All right, go and get the wheels, please. Have them be done, because I want to get a wagon. I should have actually put some in there. And as we see, these houses are actually changing shape and they're looking different. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, we can't make any more houses yet, so that's kind of an issue, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and delete a couple of our people. Can we, uh, I forgot the delete thing for this. Is it block layer? Oh no, we had to just press delete on them. Okay, we'll just leave those guys there. And let's see. Wheels, we have five. That seems promising. So let's make a wagon. All right, so with the wagon, what we're going to do here is we're going to pick up, we're going to have an item filter, first of all, because I really don't want things going wrong. Let's use this. And then we're going to have a task here. Let's go here, pick up, and then here to drop off. Okay, so let's collect this wagon again. And we want it to have a thing hold until full. And that way we're just gonna drop off and then I guess hold until empty, that's fine too. Cause there's no reason to, yeah, do stuff um, with, uh, if it's not full or empty. So it can hold a total of four items, which is great. And that kind of reduces the trips on this wagon. So it's really nice. All right, so that's gonna get us some rails and we are seeing those happen right there. Uh, we have nine wheels. I'm gonna wait until we have a little bit more on the wheel side of things. So let's see, we wanted to build a forester here and a farm here, but the reason for building these rails was so that we can finish building the rails um, because we need to deliver all of this to a food market somewhere. Uh, and the food market, I believe, only has to be within this green circle. Uh, and then that's fine. We don't, it doesn't have to be very close to the houses. As long as it's within that green circle, it should be fine. So let's connect this. I think that's an important thing to do is connect things with roads and just make sure that we have something somewhere for this. Um, yeah, sure. All right, let's make a food place. We need to make, first of all, the forestry place. Okay, forester goes here. Let's put that there. Okay, and then we need the food place, which is the kitchen. Let's grab that. All right, and all of this is just gonna connect together in a beautiful kind of way. So let's just put this kitchen here. And I think, yeah, wow, we don't actually need the rails. I'm just gonna go ahead and put our food place. No, it's the tavern, right? Because we're making jelly. Let's put the tavern out here. We'll leave a couple of spaces so that there's plenty of room. Let's put our road here. Okay, and then this thing is gonna make pear, not juice. Oh, we're upgrading ourselves. So pear juice is six yellow coins. Pear jam is 12 yellow coins. Oh, we're greedy, hooray. Okay, let's put a chute here to there. So sugar is coming in. Uh, oh, hello. Okay, that's that's weird. Um, we'll just be getting our grabber on F3. Not a splitter, grabber please. All right, and then we're gonna get our pears as well. Those are gonna join the fray. Oh, all right, that's um this way. There we go. Hey, 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 stop that. Okay, that didn't work as well as I wanted. Sometimes the curving does not work well on this and I don't know why. Uh, all right, let's just do this and be a little bit sloppy. We don't care because it is happily covered by the grabber. Okay, we now have inputs. And now we're just gonna get a wooden conveyor belt. We don't actually need anything else for this. What we could do is put this conveyor belt up high, but maybe we save that for later if we have rails coming under here. 
uh, to do other stuff with. So let's see, we have the fire, we have sugar, we've got pears. Now the pears, let's figure out how much we need for this. So this is it going one at a second, one per second. We need four pears for this. Jeez, that's a lot. Let's put four workers here on this pear project. And I'm not sure if we need more trees for this. This is such a strange thing to me that you can either have workers. I don't know what happens if you put more pear trees. I kind of expect that nothing happens. So maybe we didn't even need this many sugar cane thingies. Let's see, these sugar bits are... I can't figure out if they grow better or not. They have hearts. Resource affinity for a crop increases each time it's grown. That's kind of crazy good. So these are 25. These don't exist or something. Why were they not removed? I don't know. Why? This is so strange. Like these apparently don't count anymore because I put them underwater. But it should tell me like nothing or it should delete them, I think. I don't know. It seems really strange. So tools, let's go and fix this. Let's go terrain blocks up. Or terrain, flatten up. Let's try that. No! Okay, that was weird. Did this fix it? Okay, that now works. This now works. All right, fine. All right, we'll just put it back the way it was. I don't really understand how this works. So I guess that's just going to have to be something. I was just hoping to get the water there automatically, but it doesn't seem to work that way. Okay, so, oh, it didn't use the grabber. There we go. So, hello? Pear jam. Hello? Okay, this wants to, let's do an item filter for pear jam. There we go. Okay. But something else is wrong. Why is it wrong? Oh, it's the wrong height. Okay, so this is a tiny fraction up. That's why it is not working. So let's fix this. Let's do X there. For whatever reason, you cannot select a conveyor belt. And I don't know why, but you can't. So let's get ourselves um, this thingy and put our conveyor belt down this way. There we go. Happy days. I love these like little flat icons. It looks so silly. <laughs> I was hoping that like stuff would be like 3D. Like the pairs would be like a single 3D pair, but it's okay. I, I This is a one person dev team and they have done, uh, Eric has done a really amazing job on this game. I can't complain uh, too much, except for the UI. I'm going to complain about that, but everything else is really charming. I mean, these huts and buildings and things used to look let's say just very plain. They used to be extremely plain. So this game has grown so beautifully and so much. I'm just really excited about it. Uh, all right, let's add our last couple of houses here. Uh, we have the ability to build a couple of more, four more in fact. So let's add those here and they are gonna be starting to sell goods or sold too, I should say. So we get all that going. Let's see, how many rails do we have? We should add those to our thing, rails. So we can keep track how many we have, 64, that's pretty okay. It's not a lot, maybe we need to um, probably increase, oh no, we're just short of stone. So we might need to increase the stone deliveries there. But over time that number is gonna go up, so it's gonna be just fine. And um, I think next time we're gonna work on the cloth conveyor belts because those are faster than the wooden ones. We can actually improve our progress on some of the things that if the conveyor belt's a bit slow, maybe we can get things uh, getting there a bit faster. So anyway, uh, I wanna say thank you very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.